crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here for Crackberry.com with Michael Cluley. It's uh, day one of DevCon 2011. Uh, we just came out with a keynote session. I just grabbed my free BlackBerry playbook, which is awesome, and it is loaded with uh, what's being called what? The Playbook 2.0 OS? Playbook OS 2.0. OS 2.0. Uh, it's not tablet OS. We're calling not, it Playbook for now. It, exactly. And, and this specifically is our developer beta. So what we wanted to do was give developers an opportunity to get a jump start on 2.0 before it hits the streets officially. Makes sense. Uh, so with that, what we've got is uh, a few new things okay. uh, that you're going to start to see in 2.0. Um, but mainly it's aimed at developers, so a lot of the new stuff is more under the covers here. Sure. Uh, so what we have uh, that, that's kind of eye-pleasing to start with is the new home screen look uh, for Playbook OS 2.0. Uh, so what we have a concept of the home screen dock, which allows you to put your favorite icons up in the home screen. Um, so you press and hold just like you did on the original release, allows you to move your apps up into the dock. Uh, in addition to that, you can also move apps into other panes uh, from the release as well. So we just move that off into the secondary pane. So this now gives uh, users the flexibility to customize where their apps are because you know we're going to start seeing thousands of apps in AppWorld because of all the new runtimes that are available. And then lastly to that, uh, we can also create folders. Oh, let's see this. So, so pretty simple. You drop on one on top of the other, you give them a name, we'll call cool. this media because it's got some media stuff in it, and we're off to the races with that. Got it. So that's a pretty big change then from the existing panes we had with all and favorites and it, everything. Exactly, exactly. And then when a user bridges uh, their smartphone to their tablet, uh, you'll get a bridge uh, folder. Um, from that perspective, so it does give you that similar feel yeah, of okay. your bridge apps are part of uh, the pain. Got it's it. And today we saw with Alan, he had BlackBerry Balance hooked up. He had a work setting too, so similar to that also. Exactly. So when a playbook is enrolled uh, against an enterprise server, uh, the work perimeter is created, which now gives you that an area where you can start installing work locations. And with AppWorld, uh, with the integration with the enterprise server, it gives you that that, that area to choose from. Perfect, okay. So in addition to that, we've gone down to a single icon for docs to go um, to make it easy to launch from there. Nice. Uh, nice little home, uh, image treatment there for the app. So you can now create uh, two New icon or two new documents from right in and see your recently used documents as well. Uh, you see also the window treatment right. is also slightly different, gone to a wider style, a larger style for the apps in the carousel. So now you see three uh, apps in the carousel instead of five at a time. Okay. Uh, but you can still run as many as you can. A great uh, again a great multi-tasking uh, powerhouse. So that's probably all you'll see from an end user perspective in this developer beta. Uh, what's under the covers though is it now has the Android runtime preloaded. Uh, so as a developer you can sideload your Android application that's been ported over to, uh, to Playbook OS 2.0 okay. and load that on the device and run it and play with it, see how it operates and see how it runs. So for me now that I have this, if I go into App World, will I see some of the... Unfortunately not, Kevin. Okay. You won't Got see it? the Android sure. apps just yet. Okay. That'll be available when we do hit uh, the full release of So I got to start developing and moving some apps onto it. Exactly. Okay, exactly. perfect. Uh, in that, you'll also get support for Air 3.0 with all the enhancements that they've made there. And in addition to uh, web, uh, so WebWorks, HTML5, and, and all the great browser enhancements as well. Oh, yeah, I like the bigger size. I think that's smart. Good. Well, Michael, I think that's a great first look at it. I like the UI changes. Everything's same on you know settings and menu and everything else. It's been pretty good from the start on that. So. Yeah, per pretty much uh, pretty much static from from cool. that perspective. A as we said, the the home screen is the first part that does get a jazz up, and okay. pretty excited about all the other changes. And I can down. see how this you know with BBX being for the phones in the future too, where this kind of experience makes a lot of sense with different resolutions. So exactly. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Appreciate the walkthrough. Thanks so much. Great to see you out here, Kevin. Love it. Bye.